You know, a lot of people think that to have ultra high energy density batteries, you, you have to have solid state batteries. Without it being a solid state battery, with a liquid electrolyte, it's not going to give you ultra high range, ultra high energy density, and you know, give you something like a thousand miles of range. But that's categorically false. That's completely untrue. There are unquestionably alternatives to solid state batteries when it comes to ultra high energy density. But there is one big problem that that battery technology has been facing. Something that a lot of people don't realize is that super high energy density batteries, they don't last as long as lower energy density batteries. For example, you can take the same exact battery and simply lower the energy density and it will generally survive twice as long. And that's one of the key reasons why lithium metal batteries, which are predicted to have energy density similar to solid state batteries. It's one of the key reasons why those batteries are not yet commercially produced. We've, we've seen many times, oh, look at this new battery pack. It has 500 watt hours per kilogram, even up to 600, but those batteries might last five or 10 charging cycles, meaning you know they're really never going to work in the real world. Well, that is until now. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Phenomenal to see you. What's, what are we talking about here? Well, lithium metal batteries, they're not solid state batteries. I'm talking lithium metal batteries with a liquid electrolyte, so not solid state. Previously, they haven't worked. They theoretically sound great. They theoretically are meant to have ultra high energy density, but in the real world, they, well, have one very, very big problem. And that problem is that um, when you charge them, after about after about five, 50, 50 charging cycles, I should say, they don't work anymore. That's been the biggest issue facing lithium metal batteries. So a lot of YouTube videos, guys, that talk about uh, lithium metal being this amazing new battery technology, but they fail to mention the fact that no one, well, until now, has actually been able to commercialize high energy density lithium metal batteries. Now, can they commercialize lower energy density lithium metal batteries? Yes, but low energy density, well, what's the point, right? Think about it. Current batteries in electric cars have an energy density rating between 160 watt hours per kilogram, such as lithium ion phosphate, up to 250 watt hours per kilogram. That's obviously a pretty high energy density, especially in comparison to home energy storage, which technically usually has a, an energy density of around 140 watt hours per kilogram. However, a battery with a practical capacity of 70 kilowatt hours will weigh around about 400 kilograms, which is, you know, about 800 pounds. An increased energy density, therefore, will save a massive amount of weight and allow a car to go to water drive a lot further meaning you know, range anxiety would, would be non-existent. Plus, one of the big advantages of EVs then would be they could be lighter than internal combustion engine cars. Having that high energy density battery, we're talking 500 watt hours per kilogram, would enable battery packs to potentially be half the weight of what they are today. This would obviously improve driving dynamics, uh, improve tire wear, all those kinds of things, all the kind of things that uh, EV haters, you know, the things that they throw at EVs to say, oh, EVs suck because of this or that or this, that would eliminate even more things, even more issues for them to point out. Now, really though, to be honest, good electric cars are no heavier than internal combustion cars. For example, a Tesla Model 3 is no heavier than an internal combustion vehicle um, of a similar size. The battery presented though by the University of Science and Technology in China has an energy density of 506 watt hours per kilogram. It could save maybe 200 kilograms or even at least 150 kilograms minimum. So between 330 to 430 pounds of weight. That's massive. And it doesn't require expensive and complicated solid state battery technology. Now, for those of you that are wondering, um, this is a, a kind of a little known fact. The energy density of gasoline and diesel is approximately 10,000 watt hours per kilogram. But obviously, once you've burned it, there's nothing left except for the pollution you leave behind. Uh, so you can't recharge it. The 
high value of energy density in a lithium metal battery is, well, one of the reasons they don't work. 50 charging cycles was the maximum that lithium metal batteries up until now with an energy density above 500 watts per kilogram were able to actually last for. So not a lot better than gasoline or diesel, 50 charging cycles, I mean, really. However, the structure of this new battery, which has an energy density of 506 watt hours per kilogram survived 130 cycles with only a very small amount of battery degradation. In other words, uh, these researchers have figured out how to make a lithium metal battery at a very, very high energy density and make it last a long time. How long? We don't know exactly yet. However, at only 400 watt hours per kilogram in terms of energy density, so a similar battery that is sort of uh, not juiced up as much, not on steroids as much, you could say, has, uh, well, more charging cycles. So they achieved 300 charging cycles on that battery and it was still working. Basically, the researchers are saying if you have a lower energy density, say 400 watt hours per kilogram, the battery will likely last quite a bit longer. Now, 400 watt hours per kilogram is still massive and it's still similar to CATL's condensed battery, which they are going to use in aircraft this year and possibly in electric cars next year. If you want to know more about that battery, I'll put a link in the description below to my video about the CATL condensed battery, which I believe is probably the most advanced battery in the world right now that is currently available to actually buy. Instead of the usual concentrate with lithium ions, anions, and other inorganic particles, a compact structure with a large number of lithium ions is used, which transports electrons together and delivers them to the anode in large packets. In this much larger structure, which is around 50 times larger than before, the lithium ions are close together. Around 100 ions instead of just one give off electrons in concentrated form. And this creates a solid electrolyte above the anode, not for the entire battery, just above the anode. That results in an enormous improvement in battery stability. This will be um, kind of intriguing to see how this goes because this, this battery still has not been commercialized yet. It sounds like it, very, it will very soon. I'm gonna guess maybe 2027 or 2026, but it won't be, won't be likely to be next year. But I do believe this battery that we're talking about, that we're basically that they've actually just figured out, it will, it will be a real thing. After all, even 300 charges, that's a little short, but it's said that the batteries are still working at that point. We just don't know how well they're working. If the battery were to travel 500 kilometers or 300 miles, a drop in capacity would have to be expected after 150,000 kilometers or 90,000 miles. Now, is that reasonable to you guys? Would it be worth the trade-off? Let, let's say this battery lasted for uh, 150,000 miles. And after that, it was you just get it recycled and you have to buy a new battery. Would 150,000 miles be enough if you have the advantage of ultra long range and a, well, you know, much lighter vehicle? This could work in sports cars, for example, supercars, sports cars. In that situation, companies could do what Ferrari are doing. If Ferrari is saying, if you buy our electric car, in eight years time, we will replace the battery at no cost with a much better battery with higher energy density and more power output. And that's what other companies could do with this new lithium metal battery. Thanks for watching.